Dickinson once wrote, I live in the state of Massachusetts, but my sister Lavinia lives in the state of regret. And when my father didn't have the, the strength and the will to grab that opportunity that Walt Disney gave to him, my mother screaming, who's going to listen to a mouse that talks? <laughs> Nobody more except the whole world. <laughs> well, my father didn't do that. He too fell into the state of regret. And he began to drink very heavily. And at that time, the end of the 30s, Paramount decided that they didn't need watercolor airbrushing for advertising anymore. And they went with a photograph, which is used today. The photograph, rather than the hand-painted design. And my father's work in 1939 diminished. There was no need for Charles Joseph Riley, head of the art department of Paramount Motion Picture. My daddy told me that he can still hear the razor blade of the man who took the gold leaf off, which was once his name, on his door, and it fell to the floor. And he started drinking heavily, and he had what everyone seemed to have in those days, a nervous breakdown. And he, he had to be institutionalized. They took my father away. Two men came in a, in, in a the light blue Chevrolet. And they put it, my, my father into some, like a sort of funny sweater. And I said, Mama, what's that? And she explained, it was a straitjacket. And they took my father down the stairs. My father, the artist, went into the Chevrolet. The light blue Chevrolet. And he left Paramount and went into a, a rehabilitation home. In those days, it cost an awful lot of money to do that. There was no insurances and plans. And we had to move out of our apartment. <coughs> We had to move in with my mother's mother and father and her younger sister and brother in Hartford, Connecticut. And we got on the train, the New York, New Haven and Hartford train, we got on it at 125th Street because that's the nearest station to the Bronx. And we were gonna take the two hour trip to Hartford to our new home. And my mother sat with a, a broken begonia plant in, in the bag and cried all the way and kept saying with the wheels of the train, what's gonna happen to us, what's gonna happen to us, what's gonna happen to us? I said, Ma, it's gonna be all right. Don't, no, Ma, the voice in my head tells me it's gonna be all right. But she, she would have nothing of that. And she cried all the way till the, till the conductor said, I 